Hi, so it's Lucy from budgetingandplanning.co.uk and Donna from elevatefs.org <laughs> and we're both here to talk about a 10 part mini series all about mortgages. There's so many questions right now. People have got obviously, un you know, understandably there's a lot of worry and concern around the mortgage rates and how much things are going up by. So our third installment is all around how long can you take a mortgage out for? So is there a maximum term you can actually have a mortgage for regardless of your age? Yeah, so ultimately, uh, the maximum term, depending on the lender, it's between 35 and 40 years. That's a long time. I never knew you had yeah. it for that long. Yeah, well, obviously, it's got to be in line with um, your anticipated retirement age. Yeah. Um, you know, if you plan to retire at the age of 68, for instance, mm. um, and you're 50, you know, potentially, you can take the mortgage out for 18 years. Um, unless you've got pension income um, that can sustain and, you know, pay for the mortgage after you've, you've, you've given up work and you've retired. Um, so pension income can be factored in if you did, you know, indeed, if you're 50, perhaps you're just going solo at the moment, uh, yeah. but, you know, you've got a teacher's pension or, you know, a decent pension yeah. and you know you're going to have a continued income beyond retirement, then yeah. absolutely that can be used towards affordability of a mortgage. That's amazing. So even when you reach the grand ripe old age of 50, you know, you've still got options. I think sometimes when you get to a certain age, you start to panic a little bit and think, well, I'm never going to get another chance at this. What do I do? That's really interesting. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, definitely options there. Yeah. So if you're 25, 30, 35 years old, you could potentially look at a mortgage deal that takes you up to a 40 year mortgage deal. Yes. Yeah. I mean, wow. ultimately, obviously, the longer the term, the more interest you're going to pay. Yeah, of course. Uh, but it's about your budgets. How much do you you want um, to pay how much can you afford to pay each yeah, month yeah. Um, and you know just starting out we know that if, as a first-time buyer for instance um, you want to buy a house but you also want to buy the beautiful furniture and you want yeah. to so you want an element of free disposable income to decorate and furnish so yeah. maybe in the interim period you know in the initial period take it for a longer term to keep the the payments down mm -hmm. but again nothing's set in stone for the yeah. 35 40 years you know initially for two years you might want to stretch it as long as possible whilst you're paying out for furniture decorations. Yeah. And then at the end of that fixed rate period or at the end of that initial term, speak to an advisor or the bank and say, right, you know, we're in a better financial position. We're earning more money today than we were when we initially bought the property. And we, yeah. we can actually, we've looked at our budget and we can afford to pay an extra 300 pound a month towards a mortgage. Can we look to reduce the term? And, and yeah, that's absolutely an option. That's really interesting because I know a lot of people like to overpay on their mortgage where they can. Yeah. But it might be a case of, well, instead of just continually making overpayments, maybe have a chat to your mortgage lender to figure out if there's a different way you could work it. Um, would that be something that would be sensible? Yeah, absolutely. And like I say, nothing set in stone. Yeah. Um, majority of mortgages, residential mortgages, do come with um, a 10% overpayment facility oh, each yeah, year. Okay. So you can pay 10%. Um, in NatWest case, it's 20% um, of the outstanding balance every year without penalty. So you can do that, which would start chipping away at the term. And then yeah. at the end of that you know, fixed rate, we can look at your finances, look at how much is left and then sort of tweak the term to suit the budget yeah. uh, and continue to make it more permanent. Some people like to keep it as long, you know, long as possible, but then having that option to overpay yeah. rather than being obliged to pay and make the additional payments. So, yeah. you know, some people keep it the same longer term, but with the option to overpay or others would say, no, I'm going to commit myself to paying X amount every year. And I want to know that in 20 years time, the mortgage is fully paid off. There's just so much, so, so much to it, isn't there? There's yeah. so many options, and what I love about it is just there's, there's so many variables. Of course, everybody's, you know, lifestyle is different. You've got bespoke yeah. needs, yeah. but what I love about it is speaking to obviously an expert. You know, you. you can take into consideration what your needs are right now. Most yeah. of our needs are very different this year on our cost of living crisis. Um, next year, things might look a little bit different, perhaps a little bit easier. Yeah. And again, in, in three and five years' time, things will be different all over again. So just knowing to have these frequent conversations, um, depending on your lifestyle setup and, and your budget, um, things can make an absolutely huge difference. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're, they're, they're more flexible than people think, and they're not, yeah. not scary at all, you know. Exactly. Talk to Donna. ElevateFS.org and LucyBudgetingPlanning.co.uk. Thank you. Next is all coming up. Mm -hmm.